In the shadow of Geneva, underneath the Earth's surface, lies a wonder of human creativity and a likely harbinger of destruction. The Huge Hadron Collider. It is a guide of logical investigation, permitting researchers to look into the subatomic world, lastly prompting the revelation of the mysterious God Molecule. A long time back, yet presently eminent physicist Brian Cox has as of late made a chilling declaration that sent shockwaves all through the logical local area. Something disturbing has been recognized at CERN, something that could have outcomes a long ways past our understanding. Has our mission for information set us on an impact course with disaster? Go along with us as we dig into the pit of this logical puzzle. Be that as it may, before we jump into the declaration, understanding what is significant molecule gas pedals. The enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's biggest and most strong atom smasher. It addresses the zenith of human logical accomplishment. Truth be told, it's so strong that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the world. Yet, could this machine intended to open the insider facts of the universe hold the key to something undeniably more dismal? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned examination associations, with 23-part states and huge number of researchers. It's a center point for cooperation and advancement. The LHC is CERN's leader project, yet it's only one section of an immense organization of gas pedals and experim. Imagine a course, but not for vehicles or ponies. This track is for subatomic particles, and it's a race against existence itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on a crash course that impersonates the energy of the universe at the hour of the enormous detonation. The impacts make temperatures one million times more sultry than the center of the sun large number of magnets guide the protons on their excursion while mind-boggling cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. These incorporate 1232 dipole magnets which twist the shafts and 392 quadrupole magnets which concentration the bars only before impact. One more sort of magnet is utilized to press the particles closer together to increment the possibilities of impacts. The errand of causing them to impact is similar to terminating two needles six mil separated with such accuracy that they meet. The accuracy required is amazing, the innovation unmatched. The LHC's plan is a wonder of designing. It comprises of two nearby equal pillar lines that lie stowed away 574 feet underneath the surface, protected from the world's radiation. In this underground world, the whole framework is cooled to a temperature of minus 456 F, colder than the vacuum of room itself. This cold climate is fundamental for the superconducting magnets to work ideally. The pillars inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, comparing to the places of four molecule indicators, Chartbook, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills an extraordinary need, investigating various parts of molecule material science. Together, they go about as epic cameras, catching depictions of these impacts. Researchers then filter through the trash, looking indications of the subtle Higgs boson, otherwise called the God molecule, and different peculiarities CLU to the universe's crucial structure blocks. It's like sorting out an inestimable jigsaw puzzle, one where the pieces are imperceptible and the image is obscure. By concentrating on the microcosm, we gain bits of knowledge into the cosmos. However, with each response comes another inquiry, and with each revelation, another test. The LHC isn't simply a logical instrument. It's a demonstration of human interest and advancement. It typifies our determined quest for information and our craving to grasp the crucial powers that shape our universe. However, as we push the limits of what we realize, we should additionally consider the moral and existential inquiries that emerge. What are the dangers of examining the unexplored world? Could our mission for understanding coincidentally open powers we can't control? In the sacred corridors of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are continually pushed, a disclosure has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared SCI researchers. Brian Cox, a previous scientist at CERN and a voice of expert in the realm of particle physical science, has as of late made a declaration that has left the world both intrigued and unfortunate. Cox's words reverberate with an unpleasant clarity. 
The objective of CERN's Huge Hadron Collider is to reproduce a smaller-than-expected huge explosion. Yes, you heard that right, a smaller-than-expected form of the very occasion that brought forth our universe. The physicists likewise happened to make sense of the ramifications of this objective, featuring the LHC's unprecedented potential for making new disclosures. This incorporates its capacity to open the mysteries of the Higgs boson and the investigation of dark matter, a puzzling substance that makes up a critical part of the universe. Imagine holding the force of creation in your grasp, the capacity to invoke the actual pith of the universe is a tempting possibility. Be that as it may, one loaded with peril. The smaller-than-expected huge bang isn't simply a hypothetical idea. It's a substantial reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the tensions, the crude energy all copy the states of the universe's early stages. It's like remaining at the earliest days of recorded history, seeing the introduction of presence itself. However, with such power comes liability, and the inquiry poses a potential threat. Imagine a scenario where something turns out badly. Something turned out badly, as a matter of fact, back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky encountered a catastrophe that would always modify the direction of his life. In 1978, Bugorsky was chipping away at the U-70 synchrotron at the Organization for High Energy Physical Science in Proino, Russia. A breakdown prompted his head, incidentally coming into the immediate way of a proton shaft. The pillar, with a power that opposes understanding, went through his skull, entering the rear of his head and leaving through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was extraordinary. He saw a streak more splendid than 1,000 suns. However, he had no worries. The pillar's way left a path of annihilation, consuming tissue and bone. Yet, he stayed cognizant and, indeed, even strolled to the center for treatment. The outcome was both sickening and entrancing. The pillar's way caused confined tissue passing, prompting the loss of hearing in one ear and halfway facial loss of motion. Yet, amazingly, Bugorsky's scholarly capacity stayed in salvageable shape, and he proceeded with his logical vocation. This incident isn't simply an individual misfortune but a preventative story that highlights the gigantic power and likely danger of particle gas pedals. The risks of a particle gas pedal like the LHC are not to be messed with. The potential for unanticipated responses, the actual texture of reality being manipulated, these are not the stuff of sci-fi but rather genuine worries voiced by some in the academic local area. The universe's mysteries are simple toys as well as instruments of enormous power. One of the most disturbing and enrapturing concerns associated with the LHC's tests is the chance of making a smaller-than-expected black hole. Dark openings are locales of space-time where gravity is solid to such an extent that not even light can get away from. They're cosmic vacuum cleaners, the devourers of stars, the mysterious elements that hide in the shadows of our universe. That the LHC would be able to make such a substance, even on a minuscule scope, is stunning for the overall population and specialists the same. Could this black hole develop wildly, gulping the Earth from inside? However, researchers at CERN have guaranteed that any black hole made would be temperamental and vanish nearly immediately. The remote chance has lighted discussions, fears, and a feeling of stunningness at the power we employ. It's vital to comprehend how the LHC could make a black hole. It has to do with the key mechanics of particle gas pedals. When protons are crushed together at almost the speed of light, the energy delivered is tremendous to the point that it twists the texture of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline extended tight and then a significant burden dropped onto it. The texture twists, bends, and assuming the weight is weighty enough, it could make a wretchedness so profound that anything close by would be brought into it. That is a short-sighted representation for what could occur in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physical science, where the guidelines of the universe are both peculiar and wonderful, there exists a hypothesis that extra aspects might be concealed inside our reality. If these aspects exist, the LHC's impacts could take advantage of them, making a gravitational pipe that structures a tiny black hole. This confounding dance of particles has even grabbed the eye of some world-popular researchers particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book Stellis, he cautioned of a situation where the Higgs boson could become temperamental at extremely high energy levels. This shakiness could lead to a devastating vacuum rot, 
a grandiose occasion that wouldn't just obliterate the Earth but the whole universe itself. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees communicated his own interests about the tests led at CERN in his book on what's to come possibilities for humankind. He investigated the possible dangers associated with atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not just preventative. They were touched with a feeling of existential fear. He discussed a worst situation imaginable where a disastrous investigation could make a condition called vacuum precariousness. This shakiness could in hypothesis trigger a stage progress that would echo through the actual texture of space-time, the outcome an enormous calamity that could inlet the entire universe. Rees's interests were not restricted to hypothetical insights. He relegated a likelihood to these devastating results, yet a low one. In any case, even a microscopic opportunity, he contended, ought to provide us opportunity to stop and think. The stakes are unfathomably high, and the edge for mistake is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have calculated the